All right. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I've got six tips to help you lose fat. Now, the tips I'm going to be giving in this video are just general little bits of advice that you could use to make fat loss easier for yourself. Um, a lot of people always mention the calories in, calories out statement. You're either going to um, do more exercise or eat less calories to lose fat. And it is really that simple. However, I know a lot of people uh, get that knowledge crammed on the throat. They, loads of people tell them that. They say you have to just, it's that simple. Eat less, do more exercise, which is true. However, this video is going to help you in terms of adding extra things into that knowledge that might lead you to that process. So being able to do things, um, little things you can tweak in your life and your lifestyle and things you're doing, which are in turn going to either make you do more exercise or eat less calories as a whole. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Now, my first tip in this video is going to be cardio. You do not need to do cardio if you want to lose fat. There is a big misconception in the fitness industry that cardio is for fat. And if you're not doing your cardio, you're not going to lose weight. And that is not the case. Now, cardio should be used for the cardiovascular benefits and increasing your cardiovascular ability. Um, if you're training to be, let's say, a runner or a cyclist or something like that, then yes, you can be doing cardio. But if you are just wanting to lose fat specifically, there are better and more efficient ways of losing fat. And not only losing fat, but keeping the fat off in the long term. So cardio is not needed for fat loss. That's a big misconception. If you're just starting the gym, you want to lose weight, get that idea out of your head that you need to be pushing yourself through hours of cardio to lose weight. It is not the case. Now, with that being said, I'm sure you're thinking, well, if I'm not doing cardio, how am I going to lose fat? Well, like I said at the start of the video, the whole point of fat loss is just going to be, in short term, it's going to come down to either um, spending more calories than you need or eating less than you need. Now, with that being said, um, there's di multiple ways of doing this. You can just reduce your diet, reduce what you're eating, eat more um, dense foods with less calories, or you can simply do um, weightlifting and increase your muscle mass, which is in the long term going to increase your metabolism. Your body's going to require more calories to keep that muscle mass on and build new muscle mass. Therefore, over the long term, it's going to be a lot easier to keep that fat off if you focused on building up muscle mass. Now, this is not me saying don't do cardio at all um, whatsoever. I think you should, for, but just for the health benefits, you should not be doing cardio with the goal of losing fat. You should be doing it to improve your cardiovascular ability. Um, a perfect workout for someone, I would say, if they want to be losing weight, is simply go into the gym with the focus on building muscle, do some weightlifting exercises to build muscle, and then maybe do a bit of cardio after to help with your um, cardiovascular ability, your endurance, stuff like that. If you want to lose weight, fat effectively and keep it off, you need to be thinking long term, not short term. Running on a treadmill, yes, is going to eventually help you lose weight. You might lose so much in a week, a month. Um, but then when you stop, you've lost that weight, you're eventually probably going to put it back on. Whereas if you do the weightlifting, you're going to lose that weight. It's going to might be a bit slower. Um, however, when you do eventually lift it, your metabolism is going to be increased and it's going to be a lot harder for you to put that weight back on because you've built up all this muscle mass and your body now has a higher calorie maintenance, which means effectively you could be eating more calories after you've lost your fat without the worry of putting the fat back on. Now, my next point is going to be in terms of eating. Now, when you are eating foods, the big thing you want is to make sure you are full. A lot of people focus on the wrong things in terms of the nutrition, in terms of losing weight, and they're eating certain foods. Should they have this percentage of carbs to this percentage of protein, stuff like that, which I will go into later, which how that can benefit you. However, in terms of eating food, you want to be eating things and eating meals, which essentially just fill you up because the more you are full, the, f the, the more full you're feeling throughout the day, the less inclined you are going to be to want to eat more, binge, eat little snacks, stuff like that. So focus on eating foods that are high in fiber, high in protein, which are going to fill you up and make you not want to eat more during the day. In turn, making you eat less to help you lose fat. Now, my next tip is joint with the previous point. Um, and this one's going to be about the thermogenic effect of foods. Now, 
Um, like I said previously, if you're eating proteins, fats, cal uh, carbs, stuff like that, each type of macronutrient, um, high foods high in fiber, stuff like that, they're going to have a different effect on how full they make you feel. You want to feel full. Um, so then you're not going to be eating more. Now, in terms of thermogenic effect of foods, these different macronutrients actually also require different amounts of energy to be digested into your body. Protein has the highest thermogenic effect, which means if you consume foods that are high in protein, your body is going to take and use a lot more calories to digest that food and consume it as it would for, say, foods high in um, carbs and foods high in fat. Foods that are really high in fat have really high calories, but the thermogenic effect is really low. So you're going to be putting on all these calories from high fatty foods and your body's just easily absorbing those calories. It's not putting any effort into actually digest it. So if you focus on eating foods high in protein, um, your body's going to use a lot more calories to digest the protein and you're going to feel more full. Uh, as a result as well and protein obviously has way more uh, micronutrient benefits than fat um, carbs stuff like that now my next tip is going to tie in again to the previous two points and this tip is going to be about all the different attributes when it comes to actually losing fat now what i mean by this is there are four main things which your body is going to use and four main things which build up your body's process of using calories and losing fat. These things are your NREE, which is your non-resting energy expenditure. So these are things that you do um, which burn calories as you are moving, stuff like that. Then you've also got your um, REE, which is things you do when you are resting. Now your BMR, also known as your basal metabolic rate, is what your body does during rest. Now this takes up a massive chunk of your um, calorie expenditure throughout the four different things, probably about 70%. Now this is things um, such as just your body working, um, when even when you're sleeping, this is when things are going on. So when your organs are working, stuff like that, you're breathing, these are all things which um, uh, are going to account to your BMR, your basal metabolic rate. Now, aside from your BMR, you also have three other things. So you have your non-exercise thermogenesis, you have the thermic effect of foods, which I mentioned earlier, and you have your exercise energy expenditure. Now, in order to lose fat effectively, you need to make sure all of these different things are to the best of your ability. So you need to make sure you're having good foods for thermogenic effect, um, you, you're doing exercise, um, you're walking to and from work, stuff like that. You need to be maximizing all these different things, even your BMR. Um, make sure you're getting enough sleep, stuff like that, so you can effectively lose fat. So all these things are important and what build up the basis of fat loss. Now, these things account for different percentages as well, roughly the same 5 to 10% of your cal daily calorie expenditures. So your uh, exercise energy expenditure is the things you are doing deliberately to uh, burn calories is things such as weightlifting you if you go for a run you're burning calories stuff like that those are your planned um calories being burned throughout exercise then you have your non-exercise activity which will be stuff like just walking to and from work stuff like that these are things where you are burning calories through non-planned non um exercise activity and then you have the last thing your thermogenic effect of feeding of foods which is what i mentioned previously the different types of food you are eating your body needs to use calories to actually burn those foods um, down and actually get the nutrients from them stuff like that so like i said before high proteins uh, food time proteins are going to take a lot more calories to be burnt down and consumed than it will be for fats and carbs now, my next point is going to be accept that you are going to need to make changes. A lot of people go in um, with the goal of fat loss and go in the goal, well, well, in the gym with a goal of it being a diet and a temporary thing they are going to lo do to lose weight. This is why most people fail. If you want to effectively lose weight and get the body you want, um, you need to realize that the reason you are in that position in the first place and you have that weight on um, is probably because something you are doing in your life and a part of your lifestyle has brung you to that point. So you need to realize you need to change your life in a certain way and you need to have a little part 
of your um, lifestyle change and it's going to have to stay like that if you want to consistently um, keep that fat off. Now that can be multiple things. It can either be eating healthier, eating less, eating different foods and tracking what you're eating as long as you're doing it um, carefully and not becoming obsessive over it. Um, limiting the amount of say takeaways, unhealthy foods you're having, stuff like that. Or you can decide to go to the gym, whether that's every day, whether it's three times a week or whatever. You need to make a change within your life if you want to stay at your ideal body fat percentage and lose fat and keep the fat off. You can't have a temporary goal and do it and then expect to stay like that forever. If you want to lose fat, you need to keep it off. You need to make sure you are having a lifestyle change. It's not a quick fix. It's not a diet it is a whole change within your life that you need to uh, come to come to terms with and accept. Now, my last point for this video is going to be don't expect fast results. A lot of people um, with fat loss especially, they want it to be fast. They, they go in with the goal of losing so much weight and so much time. They go into the gym three months before the holiday. They want to lose this weight before the holiday. That's not how you should be looking at it. You need to make a whole lifestyle change to get to you where, where you want to be. Um, whether that's doing more exercise, whether it's eating better foods, foods that, foods that fill you up more and have less calories. You need to make little tweaks to your lifestyle, which are in the long haul going to help you lose weight and get to where you want to be. Now, with this being said, in terms of um, not wanting it to be a quick, uh, quick results, you also need to be thinking of ways you're tracking your progress. You don't want to be doing stuff which is going to discourage your progress and discourage you and make you want to stop, such as looking at the scales. A lot of people, they always track their progress for fat loss through the scales, which you shouldn't be doing. If you look at the scales and one day you've got more water weight than another, your body weight is going to fluctuate. You're going to think you're not losing anything. You're going to think it's rubbish. You're going to stop. Um, same as if you lose a bit of fat, but you gain a bit of muscle, uh, the weight's aren't going to move you, you would have lost fat you would have gained muscle but the, the scales have not said you've gained or lost anything and you're going to be miffed by it you're not going to be happy so do not be looking at the scales for your progress instead focus on either measurements or the mirror these are better ways to track your progress and also like i said do not be thinking and do not be aiming for a quick um, fix to your problems and a quick goal. You need to make a whole lifestyle change. It doesn't need to be massive changes in your life. You don't need to be eating every meal throughout the day healthy, nothing but salads and everything, but you need to be making little tweaks uh, within your life, which will help you in the long haul lose fat. These might be things such as in the morning, don't have breakfast or have things that are high in protein and um, stuff like that go to the gym on set days plan set days whether it's just a monday and a friday or a wednesday and a sunday plan two days three days four days whatever to go to the gym that you know you can stick to it's a slow process not a fast process so that's the end of the video there guys hope you liked it um if any of the tips or the uh, points i made in the video you need to go over and you need me to explain uh, feel free to please comment um any questions you have need answering i'll be more than happy to answer them in the comments uh, like subscribe uh, all that good stuff and thank you for watching